Hello my beautiful people, it's a beautiful day, the week is just starting, let's have a winner mentality and today I'm gonna just talk about very briefly about a topic that has to do directly with us women but if you're a man you always have sisters, daughters, a wife, a girlfriend, a friend and it's very important to know a little bit about everything. I just want to say I'm not an expert but this is based uh, on my experience as a woman of course and the topic is the pap smear you know uh, because I do believe that um, this is something I, I feel comfortable speaking about I have had uh, quite a few experiences now what is it okay this is a uh, vaginal exam you know uh, they take a sample from your cervix to check that everything inside your pupunana, your uterus and all that, it's okay. So in the past, it was believed that this exam has to be taken once a year, but nowadays with all the technology and stuff, doctors recommend women between the ages of 21 and 65 to take it every three years. And women from 30 years and older, they can take it even five a year if it is taken with a human papilloma virus test as well okay so what are the common results that we can get in this kind of uh exams you know well uh, if it is normal literally your test result is gonna come back as normal it means that everything is fine you know uh we will always have bacteria growing up there because it's a humid, wet place. Yummy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I shouldn't have said that. Maybe I'm gonna edit it, maybe not. I don't know. So if it comes as normal, you're good. And in three years, you repeat the exam, the medical exam. But what is one, there are other categories, but what is one of the most common and a scariest result? And I myself, I have gotten it. It's called ASCUS, A-S-C-U-S. -S, and I'm sorry, I forgot the meaning of the acronym. I think that's a word, but it basically means that it is that they found like abnormal cells. They call them atypical. You know, typical is like normal. Atypical is like no normal cells inside there but the result is not clear enough for the gynecologist to determine what's going on now don't get scared because a lot of women including myself we when we have gotten that result we have thought i'm screwed this is cancer i'm gonna die and even if it is because it might be you know but well i'm going there even if it is, uh, there is nothing to be scared about, you know, stay positive. There is treatment, you know, for cancer and the sooner the better. That's why this kind of tests, you know, are recommended because if we discover that we have something going on in our body and we discover it on time, okay, it's gonna be better for obvious reasons to start treatment as soon as possible oh my gosh my arm hurt maybe it's not a good position but i don't want to stop because i want to warm up for my mom so ascus means exactly that uh, don't get scared it might be even uh a kind of disinfection you know that is causing the, the problem or it might be the human papilloma virus uh, that is causing this but if it is treated on time you know there is nothing to be afraid and it doesn't mean oh I'm a whore I'm promiscuous you know everyone is gonna the doctor is gonna be thinking that I must be you know having sex with so many different men which might be the case and if that's the case it's your life your choices but it doesn't necessarily mean that because you can have just one partner sexual partner and he can have it and then you get it 
okay and uh, this is the thing with women like it affects us it can if not treated on time you know it can cause cervical cancer and on men it causes absolutely nothing for the most part so we women are the ones who are kind of screwed with this kind of you know virus but it's very common and you probably have gotten even more than once in your life and you don't even know because our immune system just take it out okay our body is so intelligent but for some other woman that's not the case and it can like evolve into something else and that something else might be cancer so that's why it is very important that you regularly uh, as doctors recommend every three years would you take this exam just to check that everything is okay and if you got something going on don't worry okay ask us doesn't translate to cancer or you're gonna die or it doesn't even necessarily mean that it is uh, the um, human papilloma virus you know it's not that sometimes it's just abnormalities going on in your body that they are gonna be gone by the body itself you know it's gonna like take them out so if you receive this result most probably the doctor is gonna recommend to take the test again in six months you know to check if the results are different or they are the same or you can have a it's called poscopy i think that's the name in which they are gonna put an instrument inside your vagina and they are gonna take a small sample it's just a few millimeters and the oh that's for the biopsy sorry because they combine that exam with biopsy you know and the colposcopy is i think that's the name uh is that they put like a liquid okay and then it's gonna show a color and the doctor is gonna be able to see better because you have like a magnifying glass literally all your organs or everything inside of you and this uh a special liquid that they put inside it's gonna change colors and depending on the colors okay it's gonna tell the doctor if there are specific areas to be worried about or they need extra examination and that's why uh, the biopsy in which they take a little piece of that area and they examine it to see you know what's going on is it the virus is it uh what they call um you know the different stages of cancer so I, my intention is not to scare you it's just to let you know that it's something very normal you know it's not a big deal but it's very important to take this kind of exams to make sure everything going on there inside of us it's okay and you can have like a very good vaginal health like no infections no discharges nothing okay and still have ask us uh pap smear results you know because one thing is not related to the other and even if you are not sexually active it's very important that you take this kind of exams you know because um that's part of like a routine as a woman i just wanted to give you this message today i'm sorry for my face i just woke up and i'm gonna start running i love you all and if you have any other question i have read a lot about it i'm better in writing than speaking <laughs> so I, I might answer any question you have or if you have any doubt which is good because that's my intention that you wonder that you research uh that you take this exam if you haven't taken in more than three years you know it's like to create awareness just let me know and i love you all